Hello everyone and happy Saturday! Welcome to Steph and Julie's virtual cooking class. I'm going to give it just a moment so that Facebook notifies you guys that I am live and we will get started shortly. As you're jumping on, give me a thumbs up or comment below so that we know that comments are working because Facebook has been crazy lately and comments don't always show up. So if you're popping on, let me know that you are here and we will get started in just a moment. Hello, hello. Drop me a comment, let me know you're here. Also, so I can make sure, hey Steph, okay, fabulous. Comments are working, yay. Welcome, welcome. Gonna give it just another moment. Make sure that Facebook is telling everybody we are here and live. How are you doing today, Steph? Are you enjoying the weather? Looks beautiful out there. We got at least one window open, so. <laughs> Hey, 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 everyone. So today we are going to make a mystery sweet treat. I will tell you all what it is very shortly. And we're going to be making some easy Slovaki. Slovaki? I feel like I say it wrong every time. But we're going to do a Greek menu today. I know Steph is a pretty big fan of that. Four and a half miles in. Fantastic. I love it. Awesome. Cool. Well, you got your workout in for the day, so now kick up your feet and relax. So that's awesome. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I hope everyone is having a beautiful Saturday. And let me know if you guys can't see... Or if it looks like you guys aren't able to see anything, um, I can adjust things as we get going. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So as you are jumping on, please drop a comment below. Let us know that you are here and watching. Thanks so much for taking time out on this beautiful Saturday. I hope some of you are maybe using your phone and you're watching outside in this beautiful weather I mean, I know there's not a whole lot of places we can go. Maybe your windows are open and enjoying some of this beautiful weather. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you to Steph and Julie, two of my most favoriteest people in the whole wide world. Thank you so much for hosting with me and inviting your friends and family to check out Epicure and being willing to try out this virtual cooking class. Hi, Laura. So nice of you to be here. Glad you are here. So life is short, so let's go ahead and get started with our sweet treat. And part of the sweet treat, I'm actually using some of this month's Hostess Exclusive. Part of the Hostess Exclusive, which I'm not using today, are our amazing portion scoops. Um, I actually got the whole set, and I already have one of these open. So this is our portion scoops. That works great with our Epic Life Collection and Epic Life Challenge to just make sure you're eating healthy portions. And it comes with, oh yeah, one is English, one is French. I always forget that. And I'm like, why? What, what is that language? Um, but it gives you some recipe ideas on this side of the card. And then this side's in French, so you guys can't, <laughs> unless you speak French, but it gives you some other recipes. So it is in English, I promise. One card is French, one is English. But this is part of our Hostess exclusive this month. And then we're actually going to be using one of our brand new products. Hi, Catherine. This is our four cup prep bowl. And I do have some oil in here already, but we have the nice silicone lid that is anti-leak. I love this. I had this whole thing full of um, a can, a couple cans of diced tomatoes, and I made a big old thing of salsa for Drake and I um, earlier this week and absolutely loved it. The really cool thing is we were snacking on the couch, so I placed the lid just like this, 
and the bowl on top and it stopped it from sliding and slipping on the couch. So little tip for you if you're snacking, no judgment, but we're gonna go ahead and actually get started with our dessert. We are gonna be making sweet banana bread and muffin. We're actually gonna do them as muffins. We're gonna be using another brand new product our muffin maker comes in a set of two, and I have already pre-buttered them up just to save us a little bit of time. So I have the oil already in, and we're gonna be utilizing another brand new product, which I'm super psyched for, is our Raw to Ready in 20 Minute Guide. It has awesome introduction about microwave cooking and some tips Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. So we're actually going to be checking out the dessert section. I know this is backwards, guys. I'm so sorry. Facebook took away my ability to flip this so you guys could read it. But we are going to follow the muffin recipe in this book here. So I already have our oil in here. It's one third cup of oil. And then I need two eggs. And I used one of our one cup prep bowls to hold my eggs. So I love the prep bowls for so many things. I actually am using another one for something else in this menu. But I'm just gonna put those off to the side. And then we need some mashed bananas. And I just so happen to have some very very ripe bananas already handy so how are you guys doing today did anyone get out and enjoy the weather i hope so all right so we got our ripe bananas going here oops and this is my first time making this i have had the banana bread at my friend's house and it was absolutely delicious so I am really excited to make this for my family and we're actually going to be making this in the microwave in the little muffin cups so they're also oven safe but I would love for you guys to give me a guess how many minutes do you think it'll take for these muffins in the microwave. So I have two of the muffin trays, but I'm only gonna do one at a time. So how many minutes for one tray do you think? And I'm just mushing up our bananas here. So how long do we think our muffins our banana muffins are going to take and I feel like in the future I might just pre mash the bananas because I don't like not being able to look and see what you guys are saying okay so we got those mashed up four minutes okay that's a good guess oh also before I forget I've already forgotten as I'm chatting about the products go ahead and you can comment the names of the products below counts towards your participation prize I do have a participation prize and I will show you guys what that is in just a moment all right so we got our mix and I love it look at this it fits great right in our four cup prep bowl all of our ingredients fit like so well love it oh yeah you know what stuff the ground meat separator actually probably would have worked really great you should do this <laughs> yeah the ground meat separator would have been a great option I'm just so used to using a fork and but yes, I use that ground meat separator for so much stuff. I love that thing. So amazing. 
And then I've got our corner spatula here. And all of our utensils are heat safe up to 425 degrees. So if you're like me and you like to set your things on the edge or on top of while you're cooking and baking and all of those things, um, you will be safe. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to fill our little muffin tins, not tins, oh my gosh, a little muffin tray. All right, let's see. All right. I am so excited for this. So excited. I actually made, so I had a class last night and I made the chocolate temptation cupcakes in the trays as well. Holy criminy, you guys. There's no way I could make those for every class because I would be on my 600 pound life and it would just be bad news because, um, they were so good. I think I had three last night and I was like, get them away from me. All right. I'm going to come over to this one and scoop in because I want to make sure I'm not underfilling them because it just looks like there's so much, but maybe not now that I'm filling this other, other pan. And I know I'm off camera. I'm sorry, guys. But I promise it's I'm not doing anything that exciting off camera. I'm just filling in these other couple. All right, actually, wow. I'm actually doing a pretty great job of eyeballing this. Fantastic. Okay, so I saw a couple of guesses on the time. But these are only going to need to go in the microwave for a whopping three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. And then I went ahead and made a mess on our non-slip cutting board that I'm going to be using next while we get started on the next part of our our meal. So we're going to be using our multi-purpose steamer, which is basically one of my most favorite products. I own three. One is still in the box. Two are in use like all the time. Nope, not covered at all, Steph. Just goes right in the microwave. So multi-purpose steamer comes with the tray. So if you wanted to do some rice in here, your rice and water go in here. And like the rice that takes an hour to cook on the stove, 30 minutes in here. Rice, water, and then you drop the tray in so that the tray looks like that. And it goes in the microwave just like this to cook up some rice. So I know that's something we do a lot is a lot of rice. But I'm actually not going to use the tray today. If you wanted to, you could separate the meat and the vegetable, but I'm putting everything together. So I actually pre-cut my chicken. Ooh. Oh, my little setup here is just falling apart. Okay, pre-cut the chicken just into thin, really thin pieces. Yes, Laura, you can see the ingredients online for the products. If you're looking at a set, You'll actually have to look at the individual product to see the ingredients, but yes, you can see the ingredients. All right, so we got our chicken in here, and we need two bell peppers. So I'm using the non-slip cutting board. It is double-sided, so non-slip um, nodules on each side of this, so you can use one side for meats, one side for veggies, or you can do it however you like. And then we're going to be using our prep Pro ceramic knife and those of you who know and love this knife guess what there's a new knife it's a chef's knife and it's bigger and I just ordered it um, yesterday and I'm really 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 excited 
Okay, so we're gonna get started here. I'm not gonna do anything fancy with the peppers. I'm just gonna clean them out and slice them up. So you can do your peppers whatever way tickles your fancy, but see, nothing fancy here. I hope you guys can see the cutting okay. It is incredible. Also something I own multiple of because it just works so good. Just slices right through so nicely. Okay. All right. And then because I don't like to waste anything, I'm cutting off the top and we'll pop those right in. And if I do miss any questions, I will come back to the video and I will answer any questions. So um, I will get to you, I promise. All right, we got two peppers here. Okay. Like I said, nothing too fancy here. We're just cutting them up and getting these guys in the steamer. Now, Steph and Julie, I know you guys have the steamers. What is your favorite thing to do in the steamer? I know, Steph, I think you just had a comment there. Hi, Leah, about having perfect rice in the steamer, or that's the, the only way you can make really good rice, something along those lines. I'm a little bit further back than I normally do when I cook in my recipe club, so sometimes it's a little bit harder to see the comments. Okay. Almost done with the peppers. So this is the easy Slovaki that we are doing here. You can do fajitas, very similar to this. It's actually almost the same thing from what I have right now. Peppers and chicken, you would just use fajita seasoning instead. But today we're doing some Greek. Mixing it up. Egg bakes, yes. Love doing eggs in the steamer. Okay, and I'm actually gonna clear this out of the way. All right, so now we need our Slovaki seasoning, and this is part of our Greek meal kit, and it's two tablespoons. And I often find that actually one tablespoon for us is more than enough. If you like tons and tons and tons of flavor, yes, Steph, popcorn, yes, potatoes. You guys can even do full on like whole potatoes in here. I, I actually fill the whole bottom with the red potatoes, whole red potatoes and about eight minutes with the whole bottom filled and awesome. All right, so I am just incorporating the seasoning onto everything. So I had the chicken on the bottom. And so the recipe says two tablespoons, you guys, but I'm going to show you what it looks like with just one tablespoon. And it already smells amazing and it's not even cooked yet. And these are the grip and grab tongs. If you have checked out Epicure in the past, the tongs and the utensils were only available as a set. Now they are available individually. So you can purchase just the tongs or the saute spoon or the corner spatula or the ground meat separator. You can get that separate, okay? So let me show you as best I can. That looks pretty good in season, doesn't it? And of course, like I said, you can do two tablespoons. You can do as much or as little as you like. I find that there's so much flavor in our products that I actually don't feel like I need to use as much as the recipe says. All right, so let me grab dessert out and show you guys that. Da -da. And here they are. So they need to cool for a few minutes. I'm actually going to pop in the next ones right away. And then I will... Three minutes, that's right, okay. 
And so really, it didn't take too much time to get that prepped. So I'm gonna move these just off to the side. And we also are gonna be making some tzatziki. Oh, I almost forgot about the measuring spoon. Thanks, Julie. <laughs> Four in one spice spoon fits perfectly in our products. They were specifically designed to work with all of our jars and I love them. So you have the tablespoon, then you have the teaspoon and the half and quarter teaspoon on the back. So fantastic right there. Oh, and before I forget, participation prizes is going to be one of every single one of our teas for participation. So participating, commenting in the live and asking questions, going back through the posts that I've already shared, comment, ask questions, like them. And there was a great post with tons of different meal ideas and recipes. So be sure to check that out. And I think I also shared a little video about what is Epicure. So those are great to check on. And then I'm gonna have a grand prize. And that is, you get points for the grand prize for purchasing and booking a class with me. When you book a class with me, you're going to get a $20 booking bonus, just like Julie and Steph did, because they booked off of another class, and that you'll have that available to you at your own class. Steph and Julie will get rewarded with a half price item, just for your booking. And then I have some goodies here. So the grand prize winner is going to get a chicken broth. Poco picante, guacamole, fajita, and an Asian stir fry. So really, you can make three meals out of that right there. So that's an awesome way to try out a bunch of extra Epicure products when you purchase and book your class. Obviously, is until we're allowed to be out in the world and socialize together. But you're getting a great idea of what you can expect here with this menu. Um, so this actually, I grated up a little bit of cucumber earlier this morning. I'm gonna be the only one who's gonna use the tzatziki dip. So I'm actually not gonna use a ton. So I've just got some plain Greek yogurt here. I'm just gonna scoop a little bit in here. The recipe actually calls for a cup of the plain Greek yogurt and a tablespoon of our lemon dilly seasoning to make the tzatziki. But like I said, I am not gonna need a lot because it's just gonna be me using it. So I'm gonna check out and see what a teaspoon looks like when I mix that together. That's our lemon dilly. Is there a trick to fitting the lid on the steamer? What do you mean? Like, like your steamer, like you're having trouble closing it? Um, do you have it facing the right direction? Um, this is how you should have it. Handles, and then the, oh, the lid, the piece you hold to open the lid should be horizontal. So just like this. Just like that. Okay, and this actually looks like more than enough. So this has our cucumber, our plain Greek yogurt, and our lemon dilly. So that's our tzatziki sauce. And that's also in our one cup prep bowl that comes with these great silicone lids. Just gonna pop this back in the fridge and grab out our other banana muffins. Now our chicken and peppers go in for three to five minutes. And I think mine needs to go in for five based on my microwave. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in the microwave. And we've got one last thing to make. We are also going to be making up our Greek dressing. I actually have not made the Greek. I've tried it before. But this is the first time I'm making it. So they come sealed. Sometimes they peel off nice. There we go. Can you see how full that is? I just love, like, they just really, really, really fit as much in there as they can. So I've got our Epicure 
Cruet, and it has the measurements along the side here. I did pre-measure the oil just for everything today. It makes things a little bit easier when I go live. We have our Epicure Cruet with our funnel, silicone funnel. So I do need to add a fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar. And like I said, we got the measurements on the side here. All right, so oil and vinegar. And then we just need two tablespoons of our dressing mix here. And there's one. And two. Mmm, ooh, that smells so good. So that is our Greek dressing mix, the funnel and the cruet. And just pop on the lid and just give it a good old shake. I love the cruet. Normally I've got, do I have two or three? But normally two of them are in the refrigerator with some kind of dressing. I love having nice, fresh, easy, homemade dressings at home. That, I mean, even if I would have measured the oil in, what would that take me? Two minutes to mix up some dressing and it's ready to go right away. So I love that. So there is our dressing. So check out our awesome little banana muffins. Actually, see, are these cooled? I don't know if I can show, oh, here we go. Look at this. They just pop right out. So fantastic. Absolutely love that. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for jumping on. So excited to have you guys all here. Fantastic. All right. So while our chicken and peppers are in the microwave, just a quick rewind of what we did today. We went ahead and whipped up that Greek dressing so quick. How far do you think you could throw that one? <laughs> I mean, I could make it out to the curb. <laughs> oh my gosh, Steph, you're so funny. So we took one pound of chicken breast and sliced it thin. We sliced up two bell peppers. We used our Slovakia seasoning to season that. And that is in the microwave right now on five minutes. My microwave is a thousand kilowatts. So if you want to use that as a guide for your own. And then we whipped up our tzatziki dip here. I didn't measure because it's just going to be me. So I just did a small amount. But we used our lemon dilly seasoning. And the cool thing about all of our products, you guys, is every product has recipes. And most of the time there's more than one, just depends on how large the jar is. But we have a regular dip mix on here, tzatziki. Is it for cooking like fish, chicken, veggies, potatoes and pastas and lots of delicious ways to use that for sure. Um, and then we made our quick and easy banana muffins using our brand new cookbook, I'm so excited for this cookbook, you guys. Rather ready, 20 minutes. And actually, I just made just made a recipe out of here earlier this week. Um, if you are not in my recipe club, you guys should totally jump in there. I will share that at some point here as well. Um, we did from the one pot pasta, we did the creamy pesto recipe this week, and it was absolutely delicious, amazing, fantastic. Everyone loved it, even my husband. And um, Drake told me, Mom, this is real fancy. <laughs> so I was pretty excited for that. Let me just wash off these grip and grab real quick. And we will check on the main part of our meal here. All right, so let me get that over here. 
Now, the steamer is great for so many things. It's going to lock in a whole of the juicy flavors and all the nutrition, but it also will continue to steam for several minutes after it's taken out of the microwave as long as you leave the lid on. And sometimes if I have um, a lot of like chicken piled up on top of each other, I will leave it steam outside of the microwave for just another couple minutes because sometimes when the chicken is layered on top of each other, it doesn't always cook through all the way. But let's take a look here. And I love that the peppers are still gonna be crunchy, but here is what we are looking at. How delicious does that look? I wish I had some mellow vision because it smells absolutely incredible. And it does look like I should have separated some of that chicken a little bit better because some of the chicken needs a little bit longer. Yeah, just a little bit. And actually, if I would have if I would have left it steam just a little bit there. If I would have left it steam for those couple of minutes, it probably would have cooked just fine. So it's going to put it back in for 2 minutes and we should be all set. So, really it's just that quick and easy. And the cool thing is is this is all food that my family's going to eat and enjoy today. I actually ate a late breakfast so that I could have this as my lunch, late lunch, early dinner, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I feel like my whole eating schedule has been so off with this whole like being home all the time stuff. So whatever, we're going to eat that. And before I forget, we have a gooey, gooey dough. You can get three packs of these, I think it's $6.95, three packs of the ooey gooey queso cannot wait to make this and that is our taste test product for this month but if you thought well that looks super fun and easy that doesn't look so hard I could do what Jessica's doing I would love to chat with you about doing what I do you can cook from home you can cook with your friends and share some delicious food and thank you so much to Julie and Steph for being willing to go ahead and give this virtual cooking class a try I hope that all of you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Epicure. And you know what? I just realized that I was so worried that things weren't like recording. I didn't even tell you guys about myself. <laughs> so real quick, while we're waiting for that microwave to finish, I'm Jessica Huffman. I am located in Menominee Falls, Wisconsin. I am a leader with Epicure and I have been in the food industry for six years. Yeah, next month will be six years. Um, just after my five year anniversary, the original company I was with decided to kick us all to the curb. They were going to close and you know, whatever. It's a tragic story. But we were already looking into Epicure because they were going to be competition. They welcomed us with op open arms and we signed up in July of last year. And I was a leader within a few months of the company going live. All my friends and family are absolutely loving the products and Steph and Julie have hosted for me at least two or three times between the two of them. They are really big fans of the products and I greatly appreciate their support. I hope that you guys will love everything that you decide to give a try. I'm going to grab that chicken and show you guys one more time. Okay. All right, much better. So about seven minutes is what I need. Um, I would recommend if you do have a lot of chicken, you can do it in like two sections just like I did. So if you think it's going to take seven minutes total, do three and a half, stir it up, and then do three and a half more. But everything is cooked perfectly now. No more pink and it's ready to eat. So what I will do is I will get this video uploaded. I'm going to actually, I think the salad is going to wait for later, but I will be making up a pita here with our goodies and I will share a photo here. I think I will just edit the video and add it. So it'll be video and a picture of the food so you guys can see what it looks like. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I think at um, 4 or 4.30, no, 
It's only 2.30. And you guys, check it out. Even with all my chit-chatting, it's only 2.35. No joke. Meals ready in 20 minutes. It's so easy. Promise you. Your family's going to love it. And even if you're a single Pringle, totally going to love it. Um, but I do have a post set to go off. It's going to show all of the products in our brand new catalog. And instead of like flipping through the catalog, they're just images of everything that we have. And today we cooked in our good Greek. And I totally skipped right over one of my favorite things, our never ever list. You guys, sometimes I just get so dang excited. I want to just jump in and start cooking with you right away. But I hope you guys did enjoy the cooking class. And I will check all the comments as soon as the video uploads. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. Bye-bye.